Hello and welcome to the channel again. In this video we are going to review the entire Etruria rainbow collection from Stipula. Every nib, every color. Around a month ago we started a collaboration project with Stipula and for those who don't know Stipula is a pen company based in Florence, Italy and they do have a lot of history in pen making. Around a year ago I visited their HQ and for those who don't know I was fortunate enough to record a video tour of the company. I'm going to leave a link for that video above right here. And my guide, which is Mr. Luca Vitti, a very respectable gentleman, showed me everything and shared their legacy with all of us in that video. Well, let's get back to the pen. The Etruria model is not a new model, but it is a timeless classic design reminiscent of the golden era of the Italian fountain pen. The more modern interpretation of the Etruria is the Rainbow Collection. Characterizing this collection is the translucent resin materials used to make the pens. And this collection features different colors and color combinations. Well, we have the standard seven colors and Let's not get this wrong, I'm going to read it from here. We have red, green, purple, blue, orange, yellow, and a clear resin pen. Then we have two more special editions, which are made from colored translucent resin on the section cap and blind cap. And the rest of the pen is left in clear material. The first one is the Etruria Rainbow Prisma, which features the colored resin in all the colors that we find in the rainbow. And the second one is the Etruria Magma. And this edition features every year a different color combination. And in this magma, we find orange and red. These pens are limited editions, all of them, 351 pieces for each of the seven colors and also 351 pieces for each of the two special editions pens. Enough facts, let's unbox this pen. The pen gets presented in a relative small box, but recently they changed it to a more elaborate one, slightly bigger, which is this one right here. And here we have a sticker with information regarding the content of the box. We remove the cardboard sleeve and inside we find a very nice red box that for me is reminiscent of the old vintage presentation boxes. Simple, elegant and functional. We open the box and inside we find the pen resting on a cloth tray. If we take a look under this tray, we find a certificate of authenticity, which is this one right here. And on this certificate, we find the name and the signature of the person who adjusted and tested the nib. For me, this is the first time that I've seen something like this and makes me very confident regarding the performances of the nib. Then we have a booklet with the warranty and use guide. Let's put everything aside and take a closer look at the pen. We tend to call some pens as demonstrators, but a true rainbow takes the word demonstrator to another level. We have variations, combinations, clear material, color material, everything that your heart desires. And if you think the choices that you have to make for the pen are done once you go for a certain color, well, let me tell you that you can still have plenty of other choices to make. We will get to them in a few moments. Shape-wise, the pen is considered as being a cigar pen. We have rounded ends. And what characterizes a cigar pen is the tapering towards both ends. Then we have the clip, which is quite functional. On the clip, we find the motif from the Stipula logo, the leaves, and the same motif we have on the cap ring as well. Both clip and cap ring have a matte finish and both of them have a silver color. To uncap the pen, we use one complete turn of the cap and we arrive at the nib. And this is where we have 
a few choices to make. A Trivia Rainbow offers three types of nibs for the standard colors and the Prisma. On these two collections we have available the following type of nibs. Number one, which is this one right here. And number one is a V-Flex. And this choice represents a still flexible nib. Only one size available, extra fine, featuring a long cut sleeve and no breather hole. Number two, T-Flex. And this is a titanium flex nib. Only one size available, medium, normal cut slit, breather hole, and engraved with Titano T-Flex on it. Number three is this one right here. Number three is a very, very nice nib. We have a 14 karat gold flexible nib available in ultra extra fine, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and two stub sizes 0 0.9 and 1.1. As for the special edition which is the Magma, this one right here, we have available the following nibs. Only one type of nib, the 14 karat gold flexible nib, and available in three sizes, fine, medium, and the 1.1 stub. A very interesting fact about the Stipula nibs is that Stipula is one of the last pen companies that makes their own gold nibs in-house. Every nib is made by hand with equipment salvaged from a company called Globus that closed and all of the equipment and the know-how was acquired by Stipula. So if you really want to have a traditional handmade nib, just like in the old times, choose Stipula. In the video that I recorded when I visited the factory, you can find the manufacturing process of a Stipula gold nib step by step showcased. All three type of nibs are offered in a screw in nib unit. Let me get it in focus. And these nib units have a plastic feed that serve as a ink delivery system. Then we have the section which is flared on both ends and right here we have the cap treads and those are not sharp at all and you can totally grip the pen by them without getting your fingers hurt on anything else. The barrel of the pen has the thickest part in the middle right here then it runs slightly tapered towards the piston knob. On the barrel we find engraved stipula made in Italy and the serial number of the pen. The entire Etruria Rainbow line uses a piston filling mechanism where the knob doesn't extend and I'm going to demonstrate this with this empty pen right here and you can see that operating the system the piston knob doesn't extend. Well another thing that is a trademark of the stipula filling system is the way that the system is operated. The standard movement for a piston filling mechanism is to rotate clockwise to draw ink and counterclockwise to expel it. Well, at any stipula filling mechanism, we have this movement exactly the opposite. We rotate counterclockwise, which is like this, to draw ink, and we rotate clockwise to expel the ink. Well, the pan completely closed like this measures 150 millimeters uncapped like this we have 130 millimeters and the weight of the pen uncapped and fully inked is 26.5 grams 
Let's have a writing sample with each type of name and we will discuss our findings after that. We are going to start the writing sample with the V flex nib. And this is the V flex. Quite flexible for a steel nib and offers a lot of line variation. Just for comparison reason, I'm going to do this right here and you can totally see the difference between a starting line and the flex line. This is an extra fine point and this is very, very impressive. Now let's do a wetness test. And we're going to see that this is a super wet extra fine nib. Now we're going to go to the titanium T-flex nib. And I'm going to try to keep it in the same frame so you have a comparison sample. This is the T flex and we do have quite a bit of line variation but not so much as the steel one because I don't want to push a titanium nib they can be easily sprung now let's do this to see how much line variation can be produced with this type of nib Remember, this is a medium point. Now let's do a wetness test. Again, one square, and this is not as wet as the extra fine steel nib. And the titanium nib has that specific feedback, which only a titanium nib can have. Now let's go to the king of flex, which is the gold flex nib we have 14 carat gold and this is quite smooth for a fine nib and this is a fine now let's try a flex test it does offer more line variation as the titanium nib very very smooth And now let's don't railroad it. We can obtain a lot of line variation more than the titanium nib. Now let's try a wetness test. Again, we are going to use only one square. And this is in between the steel nib and the titanium nib in regards of the ink flow. The Etruria Rainbow is a very, very fun and versatile pen. It can dress a lot of colors and offers a wide variety of nibs that are fun and playful. And you can totally use the pen to learn how to flex a nib. Each type of nib offers a very distinctive writing experience. We have steel flexible nibs, we have titanium flexible nibs, and we have gold flexible nibs. Pretty much you have the trinity of flexing. If you're interested to own such a pen, you can find it in our stock, available in all type of nibs and all nib sizes. And I will leave you a link below for the pen if you want to order it from our website. This is it. Thank you for spending this time with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to drop us a thumbs up for it. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook and you can follow us there to be updated with everything that is new on Penventure. Links for the social media accounts you will find down below. I look forward to seeing you next video.